Well, I mean, we already knew that Prince outlived Mike Jack. But apparently, if you say that in the song, it is a problem. Kendrick responds to Drake more so, but J. Cole sort of catches a stray. J. Cole drops, might delete later. And it appears he really might delete later because he's now apologized for shooting back at Kendrick. Freddie T, you are the most peaceful human I know. <laughs> what, what is your thought on this rap beef, but not really rap beef, no longer rap beef? I don't know. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I don't really know what it is. You know, uh, rap beef is basically it's the sport of rap, right? Uh, well, he did say he's going to delete it from all streaming services. He said that as a show. But you know what, man? I, I think he followed his heart, bro. Like you said, it's all, I'm peaceful. I believe in this particular situation, he just wants peace. Uh, I assume he and Kendrick are really close buddies or were at some point, and he caught the strays and all that other stuff. I was looking forward to hearing the responses from all three of the guys. I, I think that's what makes the music. The music, I think it was never like a real beef. You know, it was never a situation like, um, Biggie and Pac, you know, where some, some guns was going to fly and all that different stuff. Uh, or at, at least that's what was alleged back in the day. But um, because it was friendly, man, I expected more. But because Cole has always come across as a, as a peaceful dude in his music, uh, and he just wants to embody just the art of it all, I'm cool with his apology. Man, the hell with that. Why apologize? You just said it's a sport. Do you apologize? Do you apologize for running 150 on somebody, Fred? You apologize for knocking somebody to sleep across the middle? Wes Welker, I'm sorry. You my boy. And you, you don't apologize for the sport of it. It's not, these three dudes are not going to get, they, they're, it's not Pac and Biggie. It's the sport of rap. I watch 8 Mile. I know what goes on in rap. Like, I love rap battles. It's a part of life. Like, there are right. shows that rap battle. So why do you apologize for doing a rap battle? It's lyrics, it's lyricists, it's me saying something a certain way about you that you don't like me to say, and then you say something to me, and that's where the battle comes from. I hated J. Cole's apology. I hated him sitting there being all nice. Bro, it's part of the game, play the game. Chad, I don't necessarily like it or hate it, right? Because I don't feel like that's our thing. That's all right? I was saying. For, for, for you to say that you hate his apology, Man. why? So my issue is more so with people who hate what he did as opposed to what he did. What I have loved to hear these dudes go bar for bar, we got the best song maker in rap, in Drake. We got the best right now lyricist when you look at what J. Cole has done over the last few years, especially some of these features and what we even heard on Mike Delete later. And then we got Kendrick, who I think is the overall best rapper of the three. And so now you see all of these things and it's like, okay, we're gonna get what we felt hip hop was built on, but we've never had it with the big three. You had it with Nas and Jay, Jay-Z. You had it with Biggie and you had it with Pac, but we never had it like this, where we felt like it wasn't about anything but who was the best rapper. But for J. Cole to be who he is, to have the perception of being a dude who is peaceful, a dude who always showed love, why can't we let him deal with his spirit? The reason people love this show is because they feel like we created a safe space for black men to be vulnerable. In a world where we're talking about black mental health and the culture needs to embrace these sort of things and allow people to be open, allow people to be vulnerable, allow people, in this case, what I think people feel like is to be soft, why not? If he feels like he had a friendship, if he doesn't want to disrespect that, to me, more importantly, if it don't sit right in his spirit, in the end, I know if you want to make money, you have to make music for other people, for fans. But if you want to be true to yourself, if you want to be true to your art, if you want to be authentic, you got to live life that way. To me, this is more about how J. Cole wants to live life than it was about being the greatest rapper, which in every verse we've heard recently from him, it seems like he's trying to make that point. Bro, he killed, what's the little boy with the red? The red Lil Yachty. That Lil Yachty song they made, he killed yep. that. Benny the like, Butcher. There we go. Oh, yep. bro, yep. he can go. But if you're going, go. If you want to if you wanna battle, <laughs> battle. Don't apologize later. And I love J. Cole. We both light-skinned dudes with dreads. Right. That's my ace. J. Cole, I love you, bro. But 
Why apologize? Because it's the game. Well, you also play, to, you're, bro, you're RC, acting like this though. Well, you play the, the game like the game is understood. played. Understood. Freddie doesn't say that shit. Understood. Before. But this is the thing though. That doesn't have to be how the game is played. Freddie T, in order to make money, had to run me over. Right. Freddie T doesn't get paid if he doesn't go out and dominate the game against me. If I can stop Freddie T from scoring, if I can stop him from getting 100 yards, eventually they're going to find another running back. J. Cole can prove he's the best rapper individually by just dropping bars consistently, just dropping verses that uh, he says at the end of the, at the end, on one of the songs, it's like how many times is he going to drop the verse of the year? Right, and that's what he's doing. He actually doesn't have to outwrap Kendrick in the battle, outwrap Drake in the battle to prove that. And I think for him, he's always been that sort of rapper. And so this departure was difficult for him to deal with. And if it don't sit right with him and his spirit in his own room by himself, I believe he has the opportunity and we should allow him to apologize and clear his spirit over ours. RC, but he apologized in the verse. He was like, I don't want to do this. I don't have to do this, but you came at me, so now I gotta respond. Back in the day, if I call you a bad name and you call me a bad name, we fight, right? We're not calling the police. Whoever's bleeding the worst is the loser. Whoever wins is the winner. And then you walk away and y'all go have a beer. Me and Randy McMichael got in a fight in the Dolphin locker room back when, when old life was life. And we fought, and I found out later on that I lost, but I thought I won. But that's what they did, and you can have your own opinion. I think that J. Cole killed him with the seven-minute drill. Some people would be, and I think y'all think different, that, that Kendrick killed him. But now, as grown men, we fought, and now we cool, bro. Dap up, and let's go have a beer. That's all it's about. It's just funny to me because Chan don't want to let it go. He, <laughs> already, he said it in his song. It's, it's Nino and G Money. That's how he feels. And, and I'm cool with the apology. Like R.C. said, he articulated much better than I did, but I'm cool with it. If his heart is at peace, then that's what the man wants. That's what he wants. He know he can go get it anytime. And that's what the world want to see. And he like, I don't want to do what the world want to see. I want to do what I want to do. I'm in control. That's my thought.